Speaking of energy, uh, we became energy independent for the first time under Donald Trump's administration. Right. With the with AI requiring so much power to run it, and with wanting to become energy independent again, how long do you think it's going to take to be there again? And what are the what is the pathway to that? That's a very good question because to your point, AI requires so much power that unless we have effectively unlimited power, we're not going to be able to power the AI revolution. I mean, this is like crazy you know, space age stuff. Like, you know, instead of going to a doctor to get, you know, to get your skin checked out to see if you have skin cancer, for example, you can take a photo and it'll tell you whether you have cancer. Like that's what the AI revolution is going to mean. That's going to mean more people living. That's going to mean cheaper medical costs, but only to, to your point, if we get those energy costs reasonable, you ask how long is it going to take to get energy independent? If Donald Trump is the president, it'll happen almost immediately because we've got so much energy here. We can do it. I mean, two, two years to get us back to where we were because, I mean, look, in, 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 in Pennsylvania, in North Carolina, I mean, in Florida, we've got energy resources that the world would, would literally kill for. And in some cases, some of these countries have actually started wars over the resources we have. Kamala's entire policy is to buy oil and gas from tin pot dictators all over the world. Let's buy it from American citizens right here at home and create a lot of good American jobs in the process. But look, if, if Kamala Harris wins, God forbid, who I'm going to have nightmares now just for, just for saying that. But I think it would take us 10 years after her administration, assuming you, she only got four years, it would take us 10 years to get us out of the hole that she would dig us into. That's how bad these guys are on energy. They just, they've got it in their mind that they care about the environment, but they don't actually care about the environment. We, we believe in clean air and clean water in the Republican Party. We actually created a lot of the environmental protections that exist. You know, you were on stage with Bobby Kennedy. Bobby Kennedy cares about the environment. Trust me, he does. But... If you want clean air, you don't ship all of our manufacturing and energy to China, which is the dirtiest economy per, per unit of economic output in the world. You build more and make more in the United States of America. That's what President Trump will do.